Ojai, California is a great getaway and for my LA friends it's a wonderful day trip and yeah I'm an outdoor bookstore you get an interesting vibe in Ojai that seems to master the art of modern bohemian living located just 90 miles away from Los Angeles Ojai is a refuge from a hectic city life confession of bohemian story 50 cents uh, Bart's bookstore has been around since 1960. It's at 10 o'clock they open inside and they have about 1 million titles but there's plenty of books outside. Just kind of like online shopping. You drop 50 cents right here and then you can pick up the book. <laughs> When winding down through the bookshelves, you quickly realize that it must have been somebody's house before it was converted to a bookstore. They added shelves to the walls and voila! When they were saying there's a million titles, they were not kidding. Seriously cool design, a great variety of book selection, knowledgeable staff. I could spend here hours. It's really hard not to love this place. It's really hard to describe the culture of Ojai. Peace and harmony here is mixed with edginess. People love here quality food and things and they have nice collection of shops and restaurants. All individually owned, chains are not allowed. If you ever want to feel vibe the culture of the place, come to their farmer's market. And this farmer's market here in Ojai is very telling of health conscious, creative community. You will find here a variety of edible flowers and ingestible flower or fungal extracts, herbal and flower teas, and local honey and olive oil. Growing their own produce and knowing that it's clean and healthy is very important for the residents here. Probably should be important to everybody. Downtown of Ojai is very compact. Everything is short distance away. So basically you can park your car somewhere next to the farmer's market and then walk from there to all the places. And a must stop is this big curated living store. Beautifully designed, nicely curated selection. This store is an experience. You will find here unique items by local artists and it's just a lot of fun. This year I decided that every place I go I buy some unique gifts for my friends for holidays, something different uh, for everyone. Good food is very important to people here and what may look like a very unassuming place, farmers and the cook, which literally means he farms, she cooks, is a must stop. There are lots of Mexican cuisine flavors here and originally for thousands of years Chumash and Oak Grove societies lived here and people here are proud of their heritage and you'll find their influence here everywhere. Everything here basically they're growing in their, in, on their farm which is not far away from here and then they're bringing it and... Oh my gosh, it's so good! Homegrown, organic, clean, cannot get better than that. And honestly, the more I eat, the more I realize how good it is. Just the food is worth to get here. After a good meal, it's always nice to slow down. So we went to taste some extra virgin olive oil. You know, every time we drive along the coast here from Los Angeles to Santa Barbara, for example, we always think to visit wineries. But here in Ojai, they have Olive Tree Valley and they have olive oil company here that grows, collects, and makes olive oil right here on premises. And when they're collecting, they're putting on gloves and they basically grab a branch and just like scrape everything down and because of these gloves uh, olives fall down but leaves stay intact and it takes four hours to get from tree to the oil. If we weren't full this would be a great spot for a picnic 
oil tasting here is free, but a few bottles did make it to my holiday gift list. One of the best attractions of Ojai is Sunset, and I will link on the blog a few beautiful hikes for you to choose from. Hiking is almost like a religion here, and make sure you bring your hiking shoes and don't leave without hitting a trail. Ojai Valley has very unique geography. It comes perfectly from west. They get the earliest sunrise and the latest sunset, so they get the longest part of the day in the region. And they're very famous here for a hiking sunset as the light comes down, the mountains start glowing pink. This is truly the best way to end the day. Well, this is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please like it if you liked it. And subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new destination. And all the links and description and details where to go, what to do is on the blog and in description below. And I, um, once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace. It's a day like this.